Hello everyone and welcome back to Rochester. We are at Just Games for the store championships that we had back in February. My name is Tim. And this is Brandon. And hey, that guy on the left looks pretty familiar. Hey, that's me. <laughs> what do you got going? You playing Chaos Theory? Chaos Theory, yep. Okay. I went 100% pure jank. Oh baby, experiment. I like that. I'm excited to see what we got. And you're playing against uh, Mitch on the right who is Near Earth Hub. And so what were you expecting when you saw, sat down against uh, Near Earth Hub? Oh, another fast advance deck. <laughs> <laughs> another one of those. Yeah. <laughs> Here goes the diesel. diesel. So what is, what is uh, the flavor of your jank, sir? The flavor of my jank. <laughs> I uh, I went with um, the Ponchantara gingerbread oh, dinosaurus nice. deck. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, <laughs> you know, it, it, things work great online. <laughs> <laughs> Jinteki.net so, is a different yes, place, I suppose. Exactly. Right? Uh, so we'll see what happens with this one. Yeah, that should be interesting at least. Yeah, it gives you a, a one-breaker suite, essentially, right. once you have the support programs yep. up. And it's, you know, at corroder efficiency, so... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It is not bad. Oh, and an employee strike in there, too. Yeah. And actually, Gingerbread isn't, like, isn't terrible right now by itself, either. There's a lot of tracer ice going around. Yeah, I mean, it, it goes through Gutenberg without having yeah. to, you know, without any fuss. And... It gets Gutenberg... Ichi's uh, a tracer. Data Raven. Data Raven, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's quite a few. Yeah, it was that was one of those cards when it came out. I was like, who, what are we ever going to do with this right. card? <laughs> and then they, they gave a reason to play it again, so sure. that's cool. This is the same thing, I believe, with, with the LLDS. LLDS yeah. processor. You, yes. know, you look at it, and you're just like, this is dumb. <laughs> and then Chameleon comes out, and you're yes. like, okay, this is, this is playable. This yeah. can be good. Right. And so it is interesting how they... You don't know how deliberate it is, how they choose to release right. these things, where they're like, oh, down the line, we're going to give them this piece, and it'll yeah. work. Or if it's like they design a card, and they're like, ah, nobody's yeah. using this. What do we do? <laughs> and so, yeah, he's just spamming out assets. He's doing NEH things. Once again, man, I know a lot has been said about NEH, man, but the card draw and the 17 influence. It's really good. In the faction that didn't really need it. No. Nope. And then spoilers, they they get another seventeen yeah. influence ID, oh. which doesn't make yeah any sense. So it, it's what NEH, the with this NBN card that's coming, and then Titan are the only seventeen. Yep, influence. Okay. Yep. And then you have the weird HB yeah, two, which is <laughs> influence. <laughs> which the the only problem with that ID is that it isn't engineering the future. Like right, by, exactly. Like, by itself, like it would be a pretty cool card. So it looks like I scored something here. Oh, did you grab something over there? I did. Some variety of one pointer. It didn't give you a tag and it didn't do anything terrible, so. And he scores an, an Astro. Astro. So I picked wrong. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but at that point, yeah, if he's just spamming out assets, usually that tells me that an agenda or two is snuck yep. in there. Oh yeah. If they're just going out one at a time, then, oh, they're playing Econ and mm -hmm. whatever. But once they start flying out, that's when you start getting suspicious. Dinosaurs. Okay. There it is. The, that's the drink. There's the poncho. So now, yeah, you with the SMC, so you have access to everything you need. Yep. And some money. <laughs> He's on 10. Yeah, Gutenberg. Yeah, Gutenberg on a non-R&D is... It's pretty ripe very for Very <laughs> easy to go Pretty through. ripe. Because what, Gingerbread comes in at two? Yep. Okay, so you'll be at four on Dinosaurus. Yep. So you are just rolling through. There it is. And that's, what, like one or two influence, too? Yeah. I mean, it, it's the only copy in the deck. Oh, okay. And you just have um, Clone Chip and SMC Exactly, and Clone that. Chip, SMC. So what do you spend most of the other influence on, then? Oh boy! Um, <laughs> I, 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 I threw this deck up. away. Yeah, <laughs> didn't go so well. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't remember. Uh, probably a clot. Yeah. Um, things. Yeah. Oh, we saw employee strike. I guess as well. Yep, employee strike. But that was the last. My last. Yeah. Uh, right. An employee strike, it it does work. It does yeah. work against you know harpsichord. It definitely yes. turns off their ability yes. and, and makes them less scary. Pretty brutal against blue sun as well. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, there it is. So that's mildly more annoying, but still doable because what goes up to strength six, I think, right? Gutenberg on the the central. Yep. And so that's just enough. Yep. 
But you don't even have to use the, the poncha. No. And nothing, unfortunately. There's got to be some data suckers in here. What is in this deck? <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be something in there, right? Theoretically. Theoretically, I, th- I think this, this deck does have more than just the gingerbread. Yeah. A data sucker would make a lot of sense. I, yeah. would, I would believe that. Since you're so focused, yeah, on the one breaker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so with all of this tagging ice, it, I'm guessing this NEH is a kill deck of some sort. We saw Data Raven off the excess, Gutenberg's for the only ice. Yeah, it, it seems very scary. And I think uh, why I'm, I'm, I'm not running as much. That yeah. broke as hell, but yeah. Because if he's yeah, if he's running mid season at yep. this credit differential, that would be that that'll be game over. Pretty ugly. So what are you looking to do at this point? Just kind of build economy, or are there particular build, things you're looking for? Yeah, building some economy. Um, this deck does run uh, the professional contacts. Oh okay. Um, unfortunately, did not see it early. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, that makes sense. You know, it, it hurts the econ a bit. Uh, especially when you see it late and you have two credits. <laughs> right. And I think I may have drawn it. <laughs> yeah, and then it's like, I click up a bunch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there's a daily cast. Yeah, Proko is one of those, it's one of those tough cards. Yeah. Because it takes a while to, like, if you get it in play, it it's fantastic. But it takes it a while to pay it back. Right, right. So money ticking up. Again, though, like even though you're, you know, you're at low credits, but he's not putting a ton of pressure. Although he does, I mean, he, he has Astro. Astro. He has Astro, yeah. which is pressure, I suppose. And he's iced a remote, so there's probably Sand Sand. So actually, if he, yeah, if he's packing Kill and Astro and Sand Sand, that must be, yeah, it must be all of his influence. So his mm-hmm. ice has got to be pretty light, and it's a lot of card slots too. So right, exactly. There can't be much ice. Oh, and target of marketing. Oh, my. I do believe he said clone ship. Okay, that... Oh, he's yeah, looking to see yeah. whether it makes sense for that to be clone yeah. ship. I mean, I guess at this point you know he's probably going for kill, so if he plays it and says Plascrete, right. that's not like a dead giveaway. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Since you're kind of already onto him. I did have one guy when I played against this deck online. He Oh, oh there okay, there's that's influence. Right. Forked. Because you can make it a sentry, yes. and it's already, uh, it's already a sentry, but... Oh, very nice. That's and right. those are three a pop, I yes. think, so yeah, that fills up right. your influence pretty quick. I have, I have one of them. I have one of each. Oh, nice. Yeah, because you can break any subtype, mm-hmm. and then you're weak against stacked ice, and so you just exactly. break it down one at a time. Yep. I like it. Uh, so anyway, yeah, once online, he... Um, said uh, corroder and i was just on gingerbread <laughs> so i was very happy about right, that, well, that up. there it there's is. the scorch all right so full knowledge now yeah and we saw a news cycle as well but he's only scored an astro so right although like, if you're gonna win the game then yeah. sacking astro not so bad <laughs> oh geez. oh that was another naked one yeah oh well, at least i don't think it was an astro no, it doesn't I believe look like an it was astro. a Beal. But even so, he's at four points with an Astro, and if you threaten anything, you know Scorch is sitting there on the back end. Yep. This is a, this is a little a little rough. <laughs> <laughs> Although he's not at huge money, and you can just walk through those Gutenbergs pretty much. Yep. Although at this point, yeah, with two ice stacked and only one of the Panchatantras up. It's it's hard to get through it. Yeah, you don't know what it is. Although, I mean, at this point, the, it is just one ice to me. Because yeah, I can that's break true. It with, with yeah, yeah and I, I saw his full. Kill he's got suite. it all. Oh. Yeah, this is tough now. So this is kind of similar to that game a few rounds ago, where like you know he's yep. ready to go, and it's just what do you do to? Okay, you do have exactly. the Plascrete though. So, yes, I do. So things are not so bad actually. That very attractive Plascrete alt. Ah, yes, that's one of my favorites. I like that yeah. one. Yeah. And Star Wars, the card game, code tokens. Nice. <laughs> Do you still play Star Wars? No. Yeah, I, it was, I tried it out and wasn't a huge fan. Yeah. Uh, 
Are those Team Covenant as well? No, those are actually uh, FFG sanctioned. Oh, nice. Uh, tokens. Cool. Yeah. See, I think I. Oh, a little, a little math on the daily cast here. It looks like. Either I oh, okay. cheated or I <laughs> forgot to put out extra tokens. Whoop. Yeah. Ah, uh, either way. So yeah, Mitch looks like he's just m spamming out more assets. Yep. Gaining yeah, money. I have to look. Yeah, you have to because <laughs> if he floats another one, he's already floated two. Yep. And if he floats another one, that's pretty much game. So. And since HQ is bare, he probably would be throwing things out on the table. Mm-hmm. So now we know what that's three. Actually, we know all the cards now because it was the Scorch, Traffic, New Cycle, and Wraparound. Yep. So at least you know there's nothing he's going to score immediately. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Although, yeah, R&D has, has been untouched for a while. So there could be fresh cards coming up. Okay, and icing there way back go. up. Again, you've only got the one Panchatantra, so double ice gets a little tough. Although you know a lot of his ice is tracer stuff, though. Yep. You know there's a wraparound sitting in there somewhere, and then a bunch of tracers. Yep. So if I can get past that wraparound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, unfortunate. Although, is gingerbread AI? No. It's not. Okay, so wraparound is not huge. Yep. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so it is better than the like AI only stuff. Mm -hmm. It has more more moving pieces, but it gets past all of the AI hate. A little bit, yep. Nice. There's the Proco. Yeah, way late. Yeah. But it's kinda of, yeah, if you're gonna be drawing anyway, I guess. Yeah, but at this point. Yeah, like... right. <laughs> it's gonna, it's getting there. Like you know there's what, four points in an astro. Oh, Brandon, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so is that a, like a big chunk of your kind of like card yeah. econ oh, for though? Sure. Yeah, for sure. so so it's I mean if it's a if it's a cornerstone card, You're right? Then you want to be playing it anyway. Exactly. So what's your feeling on that versus like a symmetrical visage or something? Getting one every turn is real nice. Mm -hmm. With symmetrical visage, like it it's it's cheaper to install. You get the one. I'm drawing up a lot. You know, I I, I, I like it. Um, yeah. The the Haley deck that I that I play the the pitchfork mm -hmm. it's a pitchfork variant or a little yeah. play off of it mm -hmm. um, uses that mm -hmm. quite, because you're quite a bit. But with Haley, you could just you know spam out um, right the oh. agendas <laughs> and just a... and, uh, install a little yeah stuff. right right. So overdrawing that's not going to be good. That's a pop up. Yep. And so what do you? That's an NAPD, NAPD that and is... I'm too broke for. <laughs> and it's Cyberdex, which, which does, nothing. does nothing right now. Oh, that's unfortunate. Wow, that's so his influence has got to be really tight. He's got Scorches, mm -hmm. Traffic Accidents. I think, no, I guess that wasn't a Santan, it's a Cyberdex. But then he's got Astros and NAPDs. So yep. that's got to be pretty much everything. So I guess there's probably not Sansan then. Probably not. Um... If he was, especially if he was just installing him naked. And oh, and that was... That, that's another Astro. Oh, no. Wait, what was that? Uh, I think he rezzed a... Uh... I couldn't quite tell. He rezzed something for... Pad? Yeah, it must have been a pad, yeah. Yeah, it was a pad. Unfortunately, with, yeah, with these NEH decks, they uh... <laughs> they tend to go <laughs> off camera quite a bit. To start putting down tape like NBN players, stay yes. inside this line, please. <laughs> Scores out the yeah. NAPD, so we yeah, at six points. Six to one. Astro the counter. Pretty much done. This is tough, yeah, because he just has to slide one through. Yep. At this point, and we've only we've seen two of the three twos get scored, so there's mm -hmm. another four mm -hmm. of them in the deck. Okay, so SMC comes out. Is See, that for another? Another, probably another Panchatantra. There's also um, Deus Exes oh, okay. and uh, Sharpshooters. Oh, okay. In case which you... also get through. All right. So you are you do have Gingerbread. Yep. So you can break this stuff. Yep. You'll end up tagged. I get one tag, which, isn't which I can through. clear. Right. And then he'll, he's only on $1 anyway, so yep. he can't really do anything. And I bounce. It looks bounce like anyway. Okay. Yeah. I mean, again, he's on he's on low money, so it's yep. not a big deal. You're not worried about dying here. 
yet. I don't yeah. think. <laughs> <laughs> I guess theoretically he could though, because you have. We know he has. Oh, you have you have Plaskreed, though. So yeah, you're safe. The kill is going to be difficult. Yes. I don't make it easy. That's why I think I drew up last click. Stall, advance, advance. Mm-hmm. So that's got to be something like... I have to check it, right? Yeah. But at the same time... Why? He knows you can get in there, and yep. you have money. Yep. And if it was something he was going to score, he would have just scored it. But mm -hmm. again, it's... What do you do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because I guess that could be, you know, he's on NAPD. I guess NAPD, he likely would have just laid on the table. I don't know. All right, going for it. Yeah, here's, the, here's the mistake. Gets the one credit. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. Asked her onto that, yeah. and it's a big old yeah, June bug. Oh. Here's the thing. <laughs> um, I, I did see this play earlier in the day, and oh. I. I should have known. Mm -hmm. However, I did have an SMC on the table, and I forgot my Deus Ex. And you Ex. had Deus Ex. Oh, no. So. <laughs> well, would you have enough credit-wise to get the Deus Ex off the SMC? Deus Ex is... Is that... I think it's, th oh, it's three. three. So you would have been so one nope, credit. Yep. You would have had to credit up and then go. Yeah. So so that was a mistake. Oh, uh, well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, was, it was a tough spot either. He was on six points with Astro. Absolutely. Like, yeah. I think the game was going to end soon for yeah. us, so... That, that 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 point going through my head, it was it was uh, a rough day. Cool idea though, and I'm yeah. I'm glad I'm glad somebody's doing that. All right, so we got the next game between you and Mitch coming up, so yep. we will be right on to that.